वेलकम बैक डियरीज टू सिंग फॉर देशियस आउ कुड आई ट्रीट माई फेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑन दिस होली डे ऑफ रेमदान आई प्लान टू बी रॉयल बट सिंपल एस वेल वॉला रस मलाई द थॉट ऑफ इट सेल्फ कास्ट अ स्पेल ऑन मी आई वॉन्टेड टू मेक इट मोर एक्स्ट्रा वैगन बाई कन्वर्टिंग इट इन टू अंक्शुअस फ्यूशन ट्रीट हिपी यू गेस्ट इट राइट इट्स गोइंग टू बी एग्लेस रस मलाई कप केक्स एंड अ बोनस रेसिपी ऑफ एग्लेस रस मलाई झा केक्स विद अ ट्विस्ट इंग्रेडियंट मैंगो Of course, how can I neglect the king of fruit in its season? What's more interesting is that this recipe is a three-in-one, as you can make cupcakes, jar cakes, and a cake with the same batter. I'm telling you, you'll be spoiled for choices. To describe the eggless rasmalai cake in brief is rasmalai. The spongy cheese balls are layered onto the rasm-infused eggless spongy cake. and topped up with rasm infused whipped cream the entire package is overloaded with rasmalai by all means and the twist ingredient mango which complements the rasmalai well and slightly brings its shade to the dessert but doesn't overpower the rasmalai's flavor now let's indulge in the making of the splendid delicacy Let's start the preparation of the eggless sponge cake by mixing the wet ingredients. For this, mix 3/4 cup of full fat yogurt with half teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk well with a wire whisk till it turns foamy. Keep this mixture aside for 10 minutes. Take another wide bowl, add half cup of caster sugar or powdered sugar, half teaspoon of cardamom powder. Few strands of saffron, half teaspoon of kevra water or vanilla extract. You can keep this ingredient optional. Then add three fourth cup of juice or milk of ras malai, and finally add three fourth cup of neutral vegetable oil. Here I used canola oil. Combine everything to a smooth mixture using a hand mixer or wire whisk. Now add the foamy yogurt mixed with baking soda and combine it together as a uniform mixture. Before mixing the wet and dry ingredients together, preheat the oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Also grease the cupcakes with a spray or oil. Here I used silicone molds. Still I greased it to be on the safer side. Now let's start mixing the dry ingredients. Sift 2 cups of all-purpose flour with 2 teaspoon of baking powder and quarter teaspoon of salt. Now let's mix the wet and the dry ingredients. Transfer the wet ingredients into a wide bowl in portions and gradually fold the dry ingredients in portions. Do not overmix the batter as the cake will turn dense and hard. I would like to add a note on the rest of the rasmalai. As I mentioned early, this cake will be overloaded with rasmalai by all means. While making the sponge cake in the wet mix, ras, which is the juice or milk of rasmalai, is added in the place of milk. So feel free to use either of them according to your palate's choice. If you are adding milk, then increase the sugar by quarter cup. Here I added half cup sugar as ras has sugar in it. If you are replacing it with plain full fat milk, then add three fourth cup of sugar. Now scoop the batter and drop it into the greased silicone molds. Fill off way as it raises after baking. After scooping, tap the mold a few times to release any air and level the batter. As I plan for jar cakes as well, I filled only 11 cupcakes. The remaining batter I transferred to a small greased cake pan, tapped and leveled it. Bake both the cupcakes and pan at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Insert a toothpick and see if it comes clean. Remove the pan and cupcakes from the oven and let cool. Once the cake is cooled down, demold the cupcake. Place the cupcakes again in the mold. Poke it with a fork or any sharp tool. and then drizzle generously with ras which is the juice or milk of ras malai 
Let it rest for some time to get soaked well. Similarly for the jar cakes, once the cake is cooled down, demold the cake from the pan, place it again in the mold, poke it with a fork or any sharp tool and drizzle generously with rust. Let it also rest for some time to get soaked well. Meanwhile, let's prepare the Rasmalai Mango Frosting. For this, take a wide glass bowl, pour the chilled heavy whipping cream and whip it for 3 minutes starting with low to high gradually. For best results of getting stiff peaks, always keep the bowl and whisking attachments in the freezer for 30 minutes. Also take the cream out of the refrigerator just before whipping. Intermediately stop, scrape the sides and continue to whip again. After 3 minutes, it would have reached a creamy texture. Now add half teaspoon of cardamom powder and half cup of icing sugar. Whip it for 3 minutes from low to high speed. Intermittently scrape the sides to ensure even whipping. After the given time, it would have reached the stiff peak stage. Stop here. Check the right consistency by scooping the whipped cream with the attachment and flipping it. The cream shouldn't droop or fall. Now finally add 1 tablespoon of thickened ras of ras malai and 1 teaspoon of thick mango pulp. You can keep the mango pulp as an optional ingredient as well. Later add gel color of your choice in minimal quantity and start whipping it for a minute at low speed till it gets combined and should maintain the stiff peak as well. Here you can do the flip test by holding the bowl upside down. The peak should hold that shape and shouldn't fall down. Now keep the bowl covered with cling film in the refrigerator for an hour. After soaking the cupcakes with the rust, now take a melon scoop or any deep spoon to scoop out the cupcake in the middle. Make sure while scooping the cupcake, you do not dig deep into the center as it shouldn't expose the base. When you do the filling, it shouldn't leak or wet the cup liner. For jar cakes, using the cookie cutter or any lid, press and carve out cake disc from the cake in the pan. After an hour of refrigeration, take the frosting out from the refrigerator and whip it again at low speed for a minute. This is an optional step. You can skip it if you're frosting the cake immediately after whipping. Now fill the frosting along with finely crumbled ras malai in a piping bag and do the filling in the scooped out hole of the cupcake. Cut a big hole for the piping bag as a crumbled ras malai shouldn't block the flow. And cover it with the scooped out cake. Let's start decorating the cupcake. Fill the frosting in a piping bag with your desired nozzle to do patterns of your choice after creating a frosting bed on the surface of the cupcake. Place a sliced rasamalai on top of the cupcake and do the patterns of your choice. I would like to add a pro tip. While choosing the heavy whipping cream, do not compromise with the fat content of the cream. It should contain at least 36% or more milk fat which gives you stiff peaks and the frosting can be piped into your desired patterns. Whereas the light whipping cream contains 30-33% to milk fat which gives only soft peaks and will not be able to pipe designs as they droop and become flat. Finally, garnish with dried rose petals and slivered pistachios. Also can use edible gold leaf if desired. 
soft, spongy, scrumptious, eggless rasmalai cupcakes are ready. When divine treat like rasmalai is converted into another surreal delight like cupcakes, what diet plans can curb or inhibit you from indulging in this heavenly beauty? Now let's start assembling our next delicacy, rasmalai jar cakes. For this, take your desired size of glass jar, push the cut-out disc cakes into the jar and start layering with rus of the rasmalai, thickened mango pulp, then with crumbled rasmalai, again with mango pulp, then generously add the frosting using a piping bag. Now repeat the same order of layering and finally end up with a piece of rasmalai on top. There is no hard and fast rule in the order of layering and choice of ingredients. You can unfurl your creativity and do it according to your choice. Either you can add cut out cake disc or crumble cake pieces to the jar. Here I added mango as it's seasonal and goes well with rasmalai. You can skip it if you're not a great fan of it. Finally, garnish with rasmalai mango frosting, dried rose petals and slivered pistachios. Trending rasmalai mango jar cakes are the perfect edible gift on occasions like Eid. It can be given as written gift tied with a ribbon and card to your Eid guest. What could more put a huge smile on your guest face than this homemade heavenly edible gifts? Hope you remember that I mentioned you can convert the same recipe into a cake. For this, use the entire batter and bake it in a 2 6 inch cake pan and drench the cake with rus of rasmalai. Place a layer of the cake, slather generously with rasmalai frosting, crumbled rasmalai, and place another cake layer. Then do the frosting and garnish with rose petal, chunks of rasmalai, and slivered pistachios. Ta da! Your luscious seedless rasmalai cake is ready to relish. Hope you enjoyed my eat special treat. When I discovered cooking, I discovered myself. So can you.